Hello. Today, we're going to be doing problem number one on the back of packet two review. And so, as I was saying, we're going to be doing problem number one on the back of packet two. And the problem is we have to find the surface area of this triangular prism. So to start out, we can just start our surface area problem. And the surface area problem is pretty much the same as the area problem from last, ch um, last chapter. But uh, instead of just writing the A. Instead of just writing the A, the A, you have to put an S A up there for certain area. Can I give me a razor? Can move that a little bit closer. Have more room. So we have S A equals the shape, which is a triangular prism. So next. We have to break this shit out of, yeah. <laughs> the shape down into its separate parts. So we have two triangles as the basis. You just write two triangles. And then you have to add that to the three rectangles. Now we can start by start plugging in. <laughs> Start pull out, pull out, um, just like putting in the equations. So the equation for the triangle. This time we're going to have to use the half times p times a because we have no idea what the height of the triangle is. <clears throat> and then everybody knows like the rectangle is base times height. So next we can start out by filling in these variables. So surface area equals two, half perimeter. Usually all I have to do is add up all the sides and that gets you 12 times the apothem, or the apothem, I just want to call it. And to find that, we have to Find that. Well, first we have to do is find this angle here, and I already did that at 60. And to find that, actually, let me. What I can do, I can make this triangle bigger so it's easier to see. So you have to find this angle here. Um, this angle right here is 60 because you can just take 360, divide it by the, the number side of the shape, which is 3, 
to get 120, and divide that by 2 to get this angle, which gets you 60. So now that we know that, we need to at least know the measurement of a side so we can find the apothem. And we know this side is 2 because this line here bisects this line. So we can now either use sine, cosine, or tangent to find what the apothem is. And we can use tangent. So you 10, 60 equals opposite 2 over the adjacent A. A tan 60 equals 2. Divide both sides by 2. No, that's not right. By tan 60. And you get A equals 1.15. Get more dust. Get more dust rolls on that. One point one five four seven zero zero five three eight. All right. So now we know the apothem. We can plug and put that in there. But all we have to do is do the 1.15 so we can save room. And then add that to the 3 the base of the rectangle. 11 times that by the height of 4. Now we can start filling, well, simplifying. Simplifying the problem. So two or what we can do is uh, kind of do this in our head a little bit. Two times half is one. So all we have to worry about is the twelve times the one point five. I can't do that in my head. That would be Thirteen point eight for the triangles, and then add that to the three times eleven times four to get it one thirty two. So now just add the two, and the surface area of the triangular triangle is one forty five. 0.8 meters 